Hi, my name is Jason King from 3dprinthq.com and I'd just like to give you um, a quick demonstration of the work I've been doing on my 3D printed lanyard project so far. So far I just start at the front, as you can see, this is, this is what I've got so far. I start at the front here, um, we've got the steering mechanism, we've got a small um, Turnigy micro server, servo sorry, here connected to the steering arm as you can see there I can show you how that moves the steering I've got the generic wheel which is the same wheel that's on the, the front and the back of the lanyard I've got this tyre which I designed and made in Ninja Flex rubber which runs on some small ball bearings in there some ball races so that runs fairly freely. If I loosen the nut a little bit, it can run even, even more freely. freely. So that's the steering mechanism. Um, I need to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing, but for a start, I just want to make sure it's functional and that it all works correctly before I start look, um, talking about the aesthetics of it. So as you can see, it's all in different colored plastics at the minute. I've done it all in PLA. Um, so if I just move back a little bit, the only bits of this that are not going to be 3D printed are the obviously the radio controlled electronics and the batteries and this 8mm square dowel, wooden dowel. So I've used this because it, it's it's difficult to 3D print on a, on a desktop 3D printer. It's difficult to 3D print something this big and this thin and this long. So I'm going to use um, wooden dowel for this part to, to basically create the chassis. So the dowel, as you can see, goes into the front here and it goes into these little back um, brackets across here and the wheel um, axles attach to the ends here. And it's, it's fairly, I think it's fairly stable. I mean, you can rest it on the battery box at the moment. It's fairly stable, I think. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. This is just a prototype, obviously. So moving back from the front, I've got these little clips cable clips which I created. I think they're quite useful. Just clip onto this 8mm dowel. Um, you put your cables in there. At the moment, well yesterday I was working on the battery box which is here. Um, what I intend to do is have an extension lead that goes from the servo to the battery box so the receiver will actually go here next to the battery box. If I just show you um, this bit here, that's going to control the boom part of the sail. Um, so now I can just disconnect that and show you how I'm going to configure this. So move that from the servo. So I think how we'll do it, if you can see this, is the battery box will probably go there. And I think the receiver will obviously sort out the wires. I don't know if you can see this. And the receiver can go in here somehow in the battery box. It's gonna it's gonna move, but you could probably see. There you go. How I intend that all to fit in into the the battery tray. But it's gonna be obviously I've got to tidy the wires up stuff like that. So I've been working on the recently the servo mount, which you can see here and here. Um, what I'm also gonna do. For the mast, I'm going to have something similar to the battery tray, which would just fit somewhere along here. It's going to be quite sturdy, fit onto the chassis there, with the mast going up here and the boom going across here, that will be controlled by this servo via a little pulley system. So that should be quite interesting getting that mechanism up and running. Um, I need, I'm going to need a bigger servo arm on here, so I'm going to. I mean, you can buy these things, I think, but I'm going to. I'm going to design one so people can 3D print their own. So th there's no point buying one um, if I can 3D print one. So that's going to be a longer. Probably go up here and pull a piece of um, string for a little pulley system, and it'll it'll basically tighten the boom or loosen the boom, which is how these lanyards tend to work. So. I'd be interested in sorting that mechanism out. Um, just going to the back now, we've seen these little brackets that are 3D printed. The dowel slots into them, as you can see. 
and I've got the same wheels at the back as I've got on the front. But these are an older type of tyre. You notice they're quite um, low profile and square section, whereas the front tyre is rounded. Now I'm going to use the rounded tyres on all the wheels, but this is just a prototype, obviously. So, and it's the same wheel. It's got it's the same bearings in it and the same little wheel nuts to keep the the parts uh, number of parts to a minimum. So that's where I am with it so far. Um, I'm gonna. I've not, I've not actually worked on it due to other commitments. I've not worked on it since March this year, but the last few days I've been working on it again, and I'm quite excited about seeing this project through to completion. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you posted on the website and the Facebook group um, with my progress and any comments or suggestions for improvements would be very gratefully um, received. So if you want more about this project, want to hear more about it, I've got um, a, a page on my website. Um, if you go to 3dprinthq.com forward slash land yacht, you can find more information about what I've um, done so far right from the beginning. it's um, I've got some blog posts right from when I designed the wheels. I think the wheel was the first part I made. So all the way up to what you see so far. And hopefully I'll... Uh, elaborate on those posts and you'll see it right through to completion so yeah for more information 3dprinthq.com forward slash lanyard